We're continuing to highlight Sanford and the 32771 zip code as we prepare to hit the road there next week. Sanford has really transformed into a growing community, creating demand on affordable housing infrastructure and resources too. Yeah, and the heart of this beautiful community is right along the River Walk. That's yeah. where News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld spent some time with Sanford Mayor Art Woodruff. The river walk we're on now is 5.1 miles. It was done in three phases. When you spend time with Sanford's Mayor Art Woodruff, there is a sense of pride. And that'll give us a 27 mile loop all the way around the lake. That goes beyond the immediate challenges of Sanford and the 32771. Lifetime resident here? I am. My family actually got here in 1844. No kidding. Yeah. So you're second generation, third generation? Six. Sixth generation. Mm -hmm. The current mayor of Sanford is a sixth generation resident. That's Frank L. Woodruff, his great-grandfather, elected mayor of Sanford three times between 1903 and 1906. Oh, and that's John Devlin Woodruff, Mayor Art Woodruff's grandfather. So it's in your DNA. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Family legacy aside, 2024's Mayor Woodruff okay. and go to the right. is focused on everything from affordable housing to rebuilding the docks Hurricane Ian vanquished from the heart of the Riverwalk September 2022. So all of this in the middle where you see the pilings, that was another set of docks on both sides. The flooding delivered a wake-up call to City Hall. The aging sewer treatment plant needed to be revamped with millions already committed to the project. One of the issues is the valves that make the system operate don't operate if they're completely submerged. And when Ian came in, everything got completely submerged. We've added um, sensors that will, you know, sort of an early warning system now. The mayor admits the sewer system was never designed to accommodate larger businesses. So places like Sanford Brewing Company and Hollerbox will have individual lift stations paid for by the city. Sometimes it would rain hard and it, it backs up and they have to close. It's, it's been very frustrating for them. I have to ask, uh, hurricane season's almost here. Uh, will you be ready? We'll be ready one way or the other because we've sort of figured out how to, um, to manage the system. The mayor tells me like many areas, growth has become a point of pride and concern. The city just broke ground on a new clubhouse and restaurant for the Mayfield Golf Course that will mirror the original. New townhomes and apartments are filling the landscape. But with growth comes need for resources. We're looking to hire some more police officers in this next budget year. We are adding a new fire station out by the airport to service the Lake Mary Boulevard area. We're managing to keep up, but we sort of see that we may be close to the edge and we're taking another look. I am most proud of fill in the blank. I'm most proud of how the residents of the city of Sanford have, have pulled this together. In Sanford, Mike Holfeld getting results, News 6.